Coach, how's the team feeling heading into the NCAA Regionals? Uh, I think we're feeling pretty good. Um, we're healthy. Uh, we, uh, you know, spirits have been good. The, the workouts the last few weeks coming off of the WAC championship have been good. Uh, you know, just trying to get recovered coming off that travel and then uh, refocus and get ready for this regional championship, was, which is a big test. Um, I think our kids are excited. Uh, you know, we, we know what we need to do. And, um, yeah, so we're looking forward to this week. What did you think of the way your teams competed at the, the WAC championships? You know, I thought it was good. I, I, you know, like I said before uh, in the preview, the WAC, the, uh, the conference is really strong across country. And uh, to see teams like uh, Cal Baptist, UMKC, Utah Valley, uh, New Mexico State, man, those teams are uh, they're very talented. Um, they're strong teams. You know, I thought our girls, you know, I expected maybe that we could have finished top three, top four, we finished fifth. Um, but we had, you know, 90% of our kids ran personal best. So I can't ask for much more than that. And, uh, and as far as the guys, you know, stepping up and getting second, um, yeah, that, that was a big, that was a, uh, really a big accomplishment for us. And, and just to see the way our pack competed and, and I closed the gap from, from one to six was pretty nice. So uh, I was promising that we're running like that at the end of the year. And, um, so I, uh, you know, we hope that that translates here, uh, come this week at regionals. On the men's side, it's a longer race now, 10K from yep. 8K. How do you prepare for that? Well, we've been doing it all year, really. I mean, we, uh, you know, the way we prepare these kids and the way we train, you, you're kind of looking at uh, building the student athlete to be able to run 10K. You know, uh, obviously mentally, it's a, it's a jump, but uh, hopefully we're ready for it. And I think we've got some veterans that have been here, done it. You know, we've been at Texas A&M a few times. The course is familiar. Um, but we also have student athletes that have run that distance over cross country and on the track. So, um, you know, anything can happen, anything can happen over that distance. And, uh, it's really always interesting to see what teams kind of prevail that last three K that race. And what's going to be like going back to Texas A&M now for the fourth time this year? Well, uh, you know, I hear it's going to be pretty sloppy conditions, pretty cold. Um, well, cold for Texas anyway, mm -hmm. but, uh, you know, it's going to present a challenge, but I think also it, uh, it evens the playing field a little bit when the, uh, when the course is sloppy and we've seen it at, you know, we've seen it in those conditions. We've seen it sloppy and muddy. And, um, I know that really when it, when it comes down to it, you know, if the physical ability is a big part of it, but also it's a, it's a mental test as well. And I, I feel like we're capable of handling that.